Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today. We are doing a flavor shot demonstration and whether it is your first time mixing your own juice or maybe you just have some unanswered questions about the process, we are here to show you how it's done. So first you will need some supplies. So we have an empty 30 ml bottle and a one milliliter syringe. I love using syringes because it helps me make exact measurements instead of just eyeballing. You can eyeball the measurements if you'd like. If you're more experienced, you might feel more comfortable with it. But for today, we're just gonna stick with some measurements. So the first step is you wanna get your flavoring. So I have four bottles of flavoring um, right now because I like to mix and match flavors. So I have green apple, blueberry, forest berry fusion, and desert rain. And we recommend starting with 20% flavoring. We recommend this starting point because it's a really nice even amount of flavor. You can always add to it later, um, but you can't take it away, so you don't want to start too high. And we get this question a lot, but no, if you mix 20% flavoring, that doesn't mean it's gonna taste just like our Mount Baker Vapor Juice. We actually can't disclose that information, um, but we are here to help you create a, a good taste for you. So, I'm gonna start by removing the caps from my flavor shots. and the nipples. And since we're mixing 20% flavoring into a 30 ml bottle, that is gonna equal out to 1.5 ml per flavor. Okay, so with the syringe, you have the syringe piece here, and this is a, a blunt needle. Um, these really help to extract the juice, especially if you're getting into a larger bottle, but um, for these um, flavor shot size bottles, I'm just gonna remove that. <clears throat> okay, so first I'm going to extract one and a half mils from my green apple flavor shot. And now with Forest Berry Fusion. Desert rain. And blueberry. Now that we have our flavoring added into the empty bottle, we're gonna fill the rest of the bottle up with flavoring. And we're gonna fill it about to the shoulder, so it's a nice even 30 mils total. It's 
really important to shake your unflavored juice because nicotine pockets can form inside and you don't want nicotine pockets. You want to get it nice and evenly mixed. Okay, now that we have all of our ingredients in our bottle, we're going to put the nipple and the cap on and we're gonna shake it very well. Once you have it shaken, you wanna set it aside and let it steep so it can develop its optimal flavor. Some people question whether it makes sense to just add a couple drops into your tank if you're looking for a little flavor boost. You can do that, however it's not recommended because when you're pouring just a, even if it's a drop or two into a tank, it's not really getting mixed in with the other juice and our flavoring is also PG based and PG floats to the top. So your flavoring is going to stay near the top of your tank even if you did give it, you know, like a little tilt, trying to, you know, mix it in there. But at the end of the day, it's still gonna float back up to the top if you're not properly mixing it together. So what you can do is you can boost your pre-made juice in its bottle before you put it into your tank. So if I'm vaping my new juice and I'm like, it doesn't have enough blueberry, I want a little more blueberry. You can just open it right up and just do a, a couple drops at a time. You don't wanna do much more than that. Um, flavoring, a little bit of flavoring goes a long way. So you don't wanna have too much because when you have too much flavoring, um, the different notes can mute themselves. So then you would end up with a really bland flavor, weirdly enough, but it does work like that. If you do decide that you just want to put your flavor shots in your big bottle of unflavored juice, then you would need about four bottles of flavor shots. Four bottles of flavor shots is going to be over 20% and three bottles of flavor shots is going to be under 20%. So that's why it's good to get four so that whatever is left in the fourth bottle, you can just use it to make it 20% or you can just use it all if you really like a lot of flavoring. If you do want to measure out exactly how much flavoring you need, depending on the empty bottle that you're going to be mixing with, then you can use an e-juice calculator. E-juice calculators are all over the internet. You can just Google it and you'll find one and you just enter the specs. You just enter the PGVG, the nicotine base, um, the, the flavoring percentage you wanna use, and it'll calculate all of it for you. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We hope this information was helpful for you. If you could subscribe to our YouTube channel, we would greatly appreciate it. And in the comments below, be sure to tell us what your favorite flavors are, because we would love to engage with you. Thank you and have a great day.